A very good Tuesday morning to you. You are watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday only on Y in the morning on Y254 channel. And I am Hilda Wadidi. I hope you are enjoying the conversation and we are letting you know how to make some money and also how you can save and in fact even learn about artificial intelligence in one by Moses. But it's about that time we find out how the ladies are cashing in on the face beat. And with me in studio, I have one Pauline Busiri and she's accompanied by her model, uh, Natalie Wairimo. Yes, yes, yes. Natasha, sorry, Natasha Wairimo. <laughs> Make sure you do stay tuned with us on Twitter at Y254 channel. The hashtag is Y in the morning. And on Facebook at Y254 and on Instagram at Y254 underscore channel. And in case you do miss any of the valuable insight, we are at Y254 channel on YouTube. So good morning, ladies. Good morning. Yes, yes. Make a Bible series. Pauline, you're the owner, yeah? Yeah. Yes, so I we am. want to get to know. We want to get to know how you <laughs> got started and what inspires your work. And for how long have you been doing this? Okay, so my name is Pauline Butiri Moyendo, mm -hmm. but I go by Butiri Moyendo, hence Makeup by Butiri. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing makeup professionally for about eight months now, mm -hmm. but I've always been into makeup, mm -hmm. literally since I was a child. Mm -hmm. Then um, I guess I just got better at it by practice and all that. Mm -hmm. And eventually my friends and family are like, you're so good at it, you can make a dime or two out of it. So, yeah, they encouraged me to get into mm -hmm. professional makeup. And you, decided to do, and you decided to do it professionally. Yeah. So what is this you love so much about makeup? What do you love most about makeup? What isn't that you like about makeup? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, what do you love about makeup? It's like, I don't know, it's empowering. I'm a feminist, so mm -hmm. I like women being the best versions of themselves. Mm -hmm. And there's no way, no better way to do it than makeup. There's no better way to do it than makeup. Yeah. So what would you say to all the people that say that, as in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you've mentioned the fact that you're a feminist. Mm -hmm. People say that uh, uh, p women who apply makeup have low self-esteem and those that, uh, that uh, don't apply at all don't care about themselves. What's your take on <laughs> the stereotype? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm here trying to mince my words. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, I think... Mm -hmm. Makeup just enhances your beauty. Mm -hmm. I mean, with or without makeup, I still think I'm beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't need a man to tell me you're beautiful without makeup or you wear too much makeup. I mean, mm -hmm. that's a you problem because mm -hmm. to me, I love makeup. Without makeup, I'm not insecure. Mm -hmm. I literally spend most of my time without it. Mm -hmm. When I want to put it on, I do it at my own pleasure. So I don't really think it matters. I mean, to each their own. Mm -hmm. If makeup is your thing, then fine. If it's not, you're still as beautiful. All right, so it has nothing to do with anything. It's a mm, choice. No, yeah, it's a personal choice. Mm -hmm. People will always have their opinions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you started out uh, doing makeup, what is the one thing you believe that no woman should leave their house without? Hmm, let's see. Um, uh, lip gloss. Lip gloss? Yeah. Why lip gloss? Because it's really cringy to see someone with chapped lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's uh -huh. like a phobia, literally. Mm -hmm. So yeah, lip gloss. Just lip gloss? Lip gloss, mm -hmm. mascara. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say foundation, but it's not really a necessity. Mm -hmm. And like a simple day, just your brows definitely don't. Yeah, mm -hmm. your brows, lip mm -hmm. gloss, and mascara. Mm -hmm. So those, those are the things you never leave the house without when yeah. you leave it. In the, uh, in, the, in, in the morning. Okay, most ladies right now are very busy. They have to go to work and then they still have to go and enjoy themselves in the evening. So I was just going to ask, um, how do you turn a subtle day look, like uh, what, how I look like right now when I'm at work, into a night look without too much um, quickly? Let me put it like that. What can I do quickly on my face that I'll be suited for a night look? Like I can go out and have dinner somewhere. Exactly. Okay, for me, from day to night, I do like during the day something simple, nothing mm -hmm. too shouting. Mm -hmm. Night, I'd add a little glitter like on my lids. Mm -hmm. um, also, lashes mm -hmm. always make you stand out and highlight. Lashes and highlights? Yeah. What's the issue with the highlights? You don't want to be popping. <laughs> <laughs> popping? Yeah. So, what's your definition of popping? Like literally, when mm -hmm. the sun ray hits your face, mm -hmm. it's, it needs to be blinding. Like people need to look. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be blinding. Yeah. All right. All right. Let me understand. Um, is there anybody's particular uh, work that has inspired your makeup? But what What is your signature look? Let me put it like that. My signature look will be like um. For my brows, I don't really like the curved kind of, like I like them straight, then act just right at the end. Mm -hmm. Also, um, a pink lid with a bit of 
glitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and gloss. A pink lid with a bit of glitter and yeah. gloss. Eh, okay, interesting. <laughs> so that's what uh, sets apart makeup by Butsiri and other makeup lines, face it's beat lines. It's not, li it's not like it sets me apart. Mm -hmm. It's just that uh, that's my go-to look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's your go-to look every day. What can you say are some of the challenges that you faced when you worked, when you're coming up and your family encouraged you to start it and do it professionally? When you decided to do this professionally, after in, over the period of eight months, what can you say are some of the challenges that you have faced as a makeup artist? Um, at the beginning, the biggest challenge was filling my kit. Like, mm -hmm. I thought it would be something so easy, like purchase everything, but this makeup is mm -hmm. expensive. Makeup <laughs> like, is quality expensive. makeup, mm -hmm. you really have to, like, cash in on it. Mm -hmm. Also, um, I'd watch, like my prices, mm -hmm. uh, considering I buy quality makeup, like um, at the beginning, all I used was Fenty, mm -hmm. just right when it had come out. Mm -hmm. And know how Rihanna and Fenty and yeah. So um, I charge like a certain amount and people like, no, that's so expensive. Some people like, yeah, I can just go to town and get makeup for 500. I'm like, yeah, but considering my products, mm and what I've used to actually invest, mm -hmm. yeah. So you had issues getting very expensive products and very cl and, cli and clients who want you to do it very yeah. cheaply. <laughs> so how did you overcome that particular challenge? I guess challenge? with time I just got my kind of clientele, like mm -hmm. people who actually understood what effort is put into makeup and understood the kind of products, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, so what uh, uh, marketing techniques did you employ to make sure that your clients come, okay, fine, I've paid your price for maybe 1500 uh, face beat. How do you make sure I come back? And, uh, and uh, how, did you get, how did you get the customer loyalty to build your fan base? What marketing did you do? Um, for marketing, mm -hmm. mostly Instagram. Mm -hmm. I was always like quite active on Instagram even before. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of like a creative. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Instagram to market my makeup line, mm -hmm. then to maintain my clients and have them coming back. I mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. good customer service, I guess. Good customer service. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it, but um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess I just form a rapport with all my clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can get a discount or something if you come back. Oh, so you do have some packs and some oh incentives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Can you outline some of these incentives? Maybe that's why <laughs> Natasha Wairimu is here today. What's some of the incentives that you have employed? So, um, let's, uh, let's say you're a bride or something like that. Uh -huh. So, makeup. Mm -hmm. For the next, uh, like, if you come back, mm -hmm. even after your wedding, mm -hmm. I'd give you 30% off. Mm -hmm. For your wedding, you'd most probably get, a g like, a card, Mm -hmm. and a gift mm -hmm. yeah a card or a gift and sometimes you give proper discounts okay today you want to show us some eye action we'd yeah. like to see um, what you have going on with the eyes so let's just start with the basics when it comes to the eyes what do you look for first what do you feel you should handle first um with the eyes i feel like one put a primer so that it doesn't crease mm -hmm. like when you're in the sun or when it gets hot mm -hmm. also after the primer i'd like to put like um, kind of like a concealer, just mm -hmm. so that the colors would be like, would stand out more when okay. I put it, yeah. So there's a concealer, concealer makes what color stand out more? The eyeshadow or? Yeah, the eyeshadow. Uh -huh. All right, let's see this practically, let's see. So I'd already mm -hmm. like done her foundation and her brows as you can see. Uh -huh. Then I'd already concealed and primed her eyes. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to go in by like setting in the concealer with a bit of powder mm -hmm. and yeah then we can start on the colors all right so my brush was already powdered mm -hmm. when we came mm -hmm. so this is just a basic powder brush you can mm -hmm. get it all my brushes are from Mo uh, from morph uh -huh. they pretty much have the best so yeah okay so i'm just going to tap a bit mm -hmm. and the residue from my brush mm -hmm we'll go into her lid mm -hmm. and you can see it's kind of becoming a bit matte since her lids were kind of oily mm -hmm. then um sorry 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 um i'm using this palette mm -hmm. which is more 35 or two mm -hmm. yeah okay, and okay. um this brush mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to look for like a base kind of color. A base color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something close to her skin tone. Mm -hmm. Just so yeah. Why does it have to be something close to her skin tone? So that you set the base, then you can add other colors onto it. Okay, so it's yeah. for setting the base purpose. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, for some of us uh, who, have, who suffer from oily skin, eh, mm -hmm. what solutions do you have for us when it comes to applying that? To applying this, mm. you definitely need a primer. Otherwise, mm -hmm. throughout the day, your eyeshadow will be misplaced or oh, you get <laughs> creases. <laughs> You'll be looking like a clown. Eh? Yeah. You start sweaty. So a primer, then mm -hmm. uh, you get a setting powder. Mm -hmm. And just before you start with your eyeshadow, you set mm -hmm. your eyelids, mm -hmm. then let it like sit for like, let's say five minutes. Then mm -hmm. you can brush the powder off. Mm -hmm. Then you can start. Okay, speaking of which, are there any skin types that, that would not go with that? With, with, with that formula of priming yes. and all that? If you if you're like, have got, if you've got dry skin, it uh -huh. might come off as flaky. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So just prime, but don't set. Mm -hmm. Prime to like moisturize the lid and all that because uh -huh. the skin is like really dry. Uh -huh. Then just start. Okay, okay. So let's see. Let's see these mm -hmm. colors. <laughs> so as I said, my go-to look would be pink and all that. Yes. So I've already put the best color. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go into like, it's kind of maroonish or something, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. So just lightly stroke on the lid. As a, as a makeup artist, if I come and I say I don't want to do eyeshadow and what have you, how, do you feel like it's incomplete? Like how important is Yeah, like <laughs> is sometimes uh -huh. clients have got some requests like, no, my brows just look so fine. Mm -hmm. Like you don't need to fill them in. And mm -hmm. when you actually look at her brows, it's, mm -hmm. yeah. So how do you so deal with, with the boss the client who comes tell you, oh no, don't do this, do that, do this, do that, yet you're the one who's... <laughs> so I tell them to give me a chance mm -hmm. and they see my final look. Mm -hmm. If they like it, then fine. If not, then I do just start all over and do exactly what they want. Goodness. Okay. So, so those are some of the changamotos that we sasa. Yep. So you repeat the whole thing if they don't like it. Yeah. I'm not like... I don't want someone going out there and saying they didn't like it or um, this and this and that. Uh -huh. So most of the time they end up liking it anyway. Oh, yeah. so they have to give you a chance and then you still. Leave. All right, all right. Let's see what's going to happen. So next here. we're going into this palette, 35B. Mm -hmm. It's mostly colorful. Mm -hmm. So I'm going into this uh, dark purple berry kind of look, mm -hmm. kind of color. Mm -hmm. Then when you get like the powder on your brush, you slightly like knock it off just so that there's no fallout and you have color all over your face. Okay. So yeah. The excess doesn't uh, dirty Yeah, exactly. Okay. And if you're wondering what brush to use, like people use like change brushes and all that. Yeah, like I always use the wrong brush or I'm told I'm using the wrong brush for different reasons. So <laughs> maybe we need a separate study on the brushes yeah. to use. But most of the time what I tell people is just mm -hmm. use what you think works best for you. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes for some colors, like when it comes to glitter, I'd rather use my finger than actually use a brush because there's a lot of fallout with the brush. Oh. So just wing it and experiment until you find what works for you. How long did it take you to learn how to, to, to perfect this skill? How long did it take you and where did you train? <laughs> I'm self-taught, mm -hmm. so it was just lots of YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I started like actually putting makeup, like eyeshadow and all that mm -hmm. three, yeah, three years ago. Three years ago? Yeah. Goodness gracious me. So it's YouTube is actually a school of beauty. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube okay. is a lifesaver. All right. What is the best way to get rid of eye bags? Eye bags. Mm. Um, like right when you wake up and it's intense. Yes. And or <laughs> you wake up too early or you don't get enough sleep. 
what is the best way to 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 get rid of eye bags normally what i do like when i don't sleep at all mm -hmm. i have like really huge eye bags so before i start my makeup mm -hmm. i just take an ice cube from the fridge and put them on my eye bags it and works that, yeah it works like in two minutes your eyes will be so much better like you literally real? notice that yeah you literally notice the transformation it's a lie. No, I'm actually <laughs> serious. <laughs> Try I'd it like out. To test this. Goodness. Try it out. So let me ask you: If you weren't a makeup artist, what would you be doing? Makeup is actually part time for me, mm -hmm. but I'd, yeah, I'm actually taking it up. Mm -hmm. But I'm more into politics, women's rights. Ah, so. great. Uh -huh. Yes, maybe I might be the first president who's a makeup artist. I see. Come for you in <laughs> politics on Mondays. <laughs> So um, after this, I'm just going to like pick, um, darken a bit, like just make sure the eyeshadow sits in there. What is the purpose of darkening it? Or you want it to be more poppy? Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> increase that color a bit. Okay. So what layer are we on now? <laughs> 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 we're just like putting colors mm -hmm. on top of each other mm -hmm. and trying to blend them out mm -hmm. before we put the glitter have you styled, in, styled any celebrities before applied any makeup on any celebrities Cele I can't say celebrities celebrities mm -hmm. but um, I've done white there Mm -hmm. of why the way there are spray that just came out mm -hmm. I've done models I guess mm -hmm. yeah is there any celebrity in particular you'd really love to face beat to do their face beat if they in were to Kenya give you the opportunity everywhere you never know Beyonce could come through hmm. too <laughs> let's see yes Chimamanda Chimamanda ah <laughs> I see where the feminism comes yeah. from yeah okay why Chimamanda though? She has a very subtle look. She does, but uh, mm -hmm. she's lately been opening. Okay, I don't know if it's lately, but mm -hmm. I've seen photos of her in makeup and she looks so pretty and so beautiful. Yes. Yeah. And it beats everything that people say about feminists not putting makeup or trying to be men and yes. all that. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Chimamanda, I hope you're listening. <laughs> so next I'm going to the Jacqueline Hill palette. Mm -hmm. Still by Morph. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for my palette, but <laughs> I'm going in <laughs> with this. It's like pink, rose gold kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, so like as I said, rose gold. yeah, I prefer, <laughs> this is exactly how it looks like. Mm -hmm. So I prefer using my finger when it comes to this sorts of colors. Mm -hmm. then so it that it doesn't uh, pour all over? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I'd like to see how this look turns out. Can you apply the eyeliner before you apply the eyeshadows, or is it a oh bad my idea? God, no, <laughs> <laughs> that's a do uh, don'ts. Okay, let's talk about don'ts. What what uh, the do's and don'ts of makeup? I've seen that's one don't. Don't apply eyeliner before the eyeshadow. What else is a don't when it comes to makeup? Um, getting the wrong foundation shade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's usually so messy. Also. Mm -hmm. Um, people think that when it comes to your brows, you can just use any pencil. I've seen people using green and red. And <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. I literally walk in town and just feel like doing everyone's makeup sometimes. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah, find the, um, the color that suits your face. Mm -hmm. um, also, the different sorts of highlighters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But highlighter, you can work with whatever color, just depending on your look and your outfit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Why are you concentrating that on the center? Because as you can see, she wears specs. So mm -hmm. like when she closes her eyes, mm -hmm. her eyes are kind of like hooded, like gone in. Oh. So like, mm -hmm. what, like what will pop most is this area, the center area. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. I'd like to see how this ends. <laughs> so that we can see the final result. When it comes to applying mascara, mm -hmm. uh, most people most people tend to believe that if you if you close your eyes, it will come out better. At what point <laughs> do you? 
<laughs> and I've seen makeup artists do all sorts of things when it comes to mascara. It's like everybody has a different way of applying it. So let me understand from you as makeup by Bootsiri. Mm -hmm. When it comes to mascara, what is the procedure in which you apply? For mascara, first of all, I prefer when your eyes are like half open, just in the middle. Half open. So that I can like, <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you. Sorry, I was trying to demonstrate. <laughs> I was trying to figure <laughs> what half open means. So I'm going in with a smaller brush just to work on the corners. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If I feel like I want to itch my eye, what's the best way to itch? <laughs> <laughs> Not for that, I can't really help you. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't want to smudge my eyeliner and all that, how do I itch? How do you itch personally? You see like how women with wigs usually tap. I it, just, just <laughs> slowly. Someone is saying you itch on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, now I can see a difference. Yeah. Oh my. Mm. So I'm just going to try and brush off the excess. Are you almost done? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, so for someone at home who wants to who wants to who wants to start mm -hmm. uh, this makeup journey and, and and delve into beauty, what sentiments of what um, what can I say? Um, I really don't like to use the word advice. What can I say? <laughs> um, insight. What insight do you believe they should know? research before you start don't mm -hmm. go into it blindly you think it's easy mm -hmm. also keep practicing and practicing because mm -hmm. when i started i wasn't as good mm -hmm. i can say mm -hmm. yeah so just so keep everybody practicing. starts from somewhere yeah i'm also not there mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i literally take an hour out of my day even though i have school or whatever mm -hmm. take an hour to practice something one new technique okay yeah oh so let's see the mascara i want to see this eyes half open okay <laughs> So for me, mm -hmm. first I'd brush them down. Mm -hmm. Brush down. Then go up. If you had eyeliner, would you do the eyeliner before? Before the mascara? Hey. No. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Before the mascara. Eyeliner before mascara. Yeah. Okay, dokes. Natasha, we haven't spoken much. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in a position to speak? Can she speak? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you can Natasha, multitask. Natasha, what do you do? Oh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do I do? Yes. Well, I love hair. Mm -hmm. I love natural hair. Mm -hmm. I blog mm -hmm. about natural hair. Mm -hmm. You can find me on WordPress mm -hmm. at um, naturallyforbeauty.wordpress.com. Okay. Yes, so I write articles about hair, type 4 hair. People mm -hmm. say, oh, African hair is bad. African hair is not bad. Mm -hmm. Black women's hair is just amazing. The curls, the everything, the mm -hmm. kink, mm -hmm. that's so different. You know, um, long ago, people would, you know, go for relaxed hair, like, oh, my hair needs to be... Yes, it long. needs to be palmed. Yes, it needs to be palmed, mm -hmm. like the Caucasian women, mm -hmm. our sisters. Mm -hmm. But then nowadays, people are actually appreciating natural hair. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do, and uh, I've made it a business. Mm -hmm. So people call me, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Come to my house. I need a hairdo for a wedding, for a birthday, a graduation." So that's what I do. All right. Yes. 